Jessica Vo from Community Television of Santa Cruz County. We are at the 2010 Santa Cruz Coastal Athletic League Jamboree. We are watching eight teams from the Santa Cruz County High School play 12 minute intervals tonight and they're all starting at the 35 yard line. The schools participating tonight will be Aptos High, Harbor High, Monta Vista Christian, San Francis Central Catholic, San Lorenzo Valley, Santa Cruz High, Scotts Valley High, and SoCal High. Each team tonight, of course, is gonna play for the most points, so let's take a look and see how they play. Hi, I have Pat Lovell here. He's the commissioner of the Santa Cruz Coast, Santa Cruz Coast Athletic League. And he's here tonight at the Jamboree, and I wanna ask him a couple of questions. So what do you think that's gonna be coming up for the 2010 season? Well, I think we've got, uh, I think it's wide open this year. Uh, you know, we had our three top teams last year were Showkill, uh, Scotts Valley, and, and uh, see who was the other one. St. Francis all tied for the, for the championship. I think this year it's going to be a little more wide open. Uh, no, it was Santa Rosa Valley, I'm sorry. Santa Rosa Valley, Scotts Valley, and Showkill. We had a tri champion. So I think this year it, uh, it'll change a little bit. Uh, I think one of those teams will emerge as a uh, is a single champion, but there's a lot of questions about the league right now. So if, having it be all open, have you been going out to any of the practices to kind of see who might be the lead team? Well, it's hard to, it's hard to tell in practice. I, I go to the practice, I watch some of the kids play, and I, I know there's some outstanding athletes out there. I don't know them by name or anything, but there are some outstanding players in the league this year. Okay. If you, if you had to guess, who do you think might play at the championship? I would say it would probably be Scotts Valley. I would think uh, back again, they're gonna be strong. They've got a, a large contingent back and uh, I think Soquel could be there. They have a lot of seniors. Aptos has a new coach. They might be a challenger this year with a new coach. So hard, hard to say, but I think my overall pick would be Scotts Valley. All right, SV, thank you so much, Pat, for your time. We hope the 2010 will be an awesome year. You're welcome, thank you. here from MVC Mustangs and then he just played nine nine zero yeah we played we just got through playing Santa Cruz uh, with our offense and against our defense all right so what have you been doing to prepare your team for the 2010 season a lot of offseason work a lot of weight lifting a lot of speed work and uh, just getting the guys ready to go for the start of the season how do you feel that your team's gonna do I feel very confident with our team. As long as we can stay healthy, we don't have a lot of numbers as far as uh, athletes that are on the varsity, but if we can stay healthy, I feel pretty confident this year that we'll have a lot of success and have a good team. Is there anyone on your team that you feel that's gonna really stand out this year? You know, I don't think we really have one player that just stands out. We've got a lot of good players. Um, so, you know, week to week, I think it can be a different person. It's not, you know, one guy that we just say, hey, we've got to have this guy play, which really makes for you a better team uh, all the way around instead of just one guy that's got to carry you. So we feel pretty confident about it this year. That's, that's awesome. Um, is there anything you like to tell your team normally before the games or like during halftime? What do you say to motivate them? You know, it depends on the situation and who we're playing, to be honest with you. Um, just, you know, attitude and efforts. We stress it all the time. Attitude and effort, give, give, have a great attitude, give great effort, and good things usually happen. Awesome. Well, we got attitude and effort here with David. Thank you so much for your time. Best luck to you to the season.
So I have Josiah here. He is a senior for Aptos High, and he is the quarterback. Quarterback. All right. And um, he's about to come on here to play. And uh, what have you been doing to prepare for this season? Just a lot of practice, a lot of lifting in the morning. Um, repetition, repetition, really. What do you think about um, this oncoming season? How do you feel about your team? I feel really confident. We got a lot of confidence in our new coach. Uh, really confident with our group of guys. So. And is it? A, do you carry a lot of weight right now, coming on as a senior and as your, you know, your quarterback? Do a lot of the guys look up to you? Yeah, there's a lot uh, leadership role I need to fill, but it's a lot of fun. And I mean, it's just we're a bunch of guys, a bunch of pals. So. Cool. Um, this this may be like an odd question. So. Um, John Henderson, now playing for the Oakland Raiders, actually has a pregame ritual where he has his um, trainer slap him as hard as he can before each game. Do you have any weird rituals that you do before the game? Not really. Just uh, just visualize everything that I'm going to do throughout the game, and that's about it. All right. So we got Josiah here. Thank you so much for your time. Best of luck to you. Joseph Smith here, he is the head coach for Aptos High Boys Basketball. Um, so do you normally, most of the coaches from other teams come out and watch and support each other? Yeah, you know, I, have, I teach at the school as well, so I have a lot of the kids on the team and you know the coaches and I just want to come out and support them and you know, we want to just be there for one another. It's fun to be out here. What other type of involvement do you guys have with kind of the athletic board? Well, um, you know, we we always communicate about players and how they're doing in their classes and a lot of the kids on the team play for me and so there's always something to communicate about when it comes to how the athletes are doing not only in class but in their particular sport they're playing at the time. So having just watching our Aptos play, what did you think about the offense? Looks great, their tempo is really good, they're, they seem really disciplined, they're hustling into the huddle, they're hustling out of the huddle, they're executing well. Uh, Josiah looks like he has a real command of the offense and, and their running attack it looks like the offensive line's getting a nice push and they're opening up holes for the running game so looks really good. Yeah, well I'm really excited to see how Aptos does this year. Thank you so much for your time. here. He is a junior from S S Scotts Valley. Um, he just played. Uh, his coach, Louie, likes to call him breadcrumbs. How did you get that name? 
Um, well, our defense coach really likes nicknames, and he uh, gives all the nicknames to every one of the defense players. And Panko prawns is apparently uh, Italian or French breadcrumbs or something, so we went from prawns to breadcrumbs, so he goes all over the place. Cool. Um, how did you feel that you guys just did? Do you feel strong about tonight? Um, yeah, we're doing all right. Our coach is always telling us to attack the ball. So Kelly have a good, uh, good offense, and you got to be very aggressive with all these good teams out here. I think uh, the rest of the year is going to do really well because uh, we got a very aggressive team. We did a lot better, I think, than last year because we got a good uh, JV coming up and varsity did pretty well last year. So we're going to be even better this year. Good. Did you have a lot of practice, a lot of double time days, and you ready to start the season? Yeah, we did a lot of practice. We had uh, Hell Week and double days, and we did camps over the summer, and we doing summer workouts in the gym. So uh, we're looking pretty strong physically and mentally, so I think we're going to do really well. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming through your time. Best of luck to you tonight.